what's up? This is a fanatic, and I'm playing uh, Battle Mania 2, also known as uh, yeah, that's Daikinju. Daikinju is the Japanese version. It's also known as uh, Troubleshooter Vintage outside of Japan. It was never released in America. So let's see, more two way. And it's the sequel to uh, Troubleshooter, which is a pretty decent shooting game. Controls. Although this one blows the, the first one out of the war. This one's a lot better than the first one. And it's probably one of my favorite games on the Genesis. Even though it was never released outside Japan. At least, well, at least in America, it was. I think it was in Scandinavia. It was released in, but that that was it. And the soundtrack is amazing in this game. This is a repro card. And I have two repro cards. I have one the Japanese one and one for the uh, I think it was Scandinavian uh, translation or whatever. But I like the this one I like better. coming up. I, I play this game a bunch, so I'm I'm hopefully trying to beat it. Because I haven't had a good record of beating uh, games recently. Shit. Alright, she's gone. We're up. Just got, I'm up to the 50th floor. I got made 60th is the top floor. Let me find another boss. Right, this is a bad guy from the first game. Get up here, asshole, so I can shoot you. <laughs> oh, that should be the end of him. And that's the end of the boss. He gets hit with a giant well, car. Yeah, he has a different name in the other uh, version. This is the Japanese one. Oh, whatever. What is their objective? Amanya Yan, is her name is Madison in the uh, in the other translation. And also in the first game, she's known as Madison. Whatever. Alright, so let's do B minus. Alright. For some reason, she's in a bikini. You know, she's gonna be in a bathing suit right now. Even though she's holding an alligator, she's supposed to be holding a pencil in the picture. Or whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stick with this one. This is probably the best gun for me, the Thunder. All right. All right, 
this rock destroys. Good thing is the game moves very quickly. There's only like one stage that's a little slower. But everything else moves really quick. What's neat about this game is it's different than like most uh, shooters is that uh, you can change your direction. There's even an option to... Uh, you can shoot in eight directions. And one of the stages later on, there's a stage where you can shoot in eight directions, but it lets you shoot from the beginning to change the in the options to uh, shoot in all eight directions at the f start of the game, which is pretty unique. I, I don't think I've seen any other shooting games like that. And also Manya, who's the blonde, uh, or Madison, she's the only one you have to worry about and do not get the power up. It'll lower your, uh, it'll weaken you. I think it's either power or speed, I forgot what it is. I think you just have to, you know what, let me activate my, my weapon. And you can use that infinitely, you just have to wait for, shit. You just have to wait for the charge to build up. And this guy, he's a he's a boss from the uh, the first game. That he's gonna give you uh, hearts. So that's kind of like a nod to the first game. He was the very first boss in the first game. And I don't know. I think because the first one sold so not so good that uh, that's probably why this wasn't didn't come out over here. But it's a much better game. It's a shame we got the first one. We should have gotten this one. Because everything, everything's better. The sprites are better. It's more colorful. The music is amazing in this game. This is another boss. So let's just try to... Just got to blow off his hands and then you attack the head. I guess if you press the C button, it'll switch your directions. Do that. Shit, I forgot. I think now is the real. Don't get that power up. I think this is the real boss now. There we go. He's pretty simple. He's got to dodge the arms. Kind of like the squid boss before. And he's got to shoot the guy with... with... He's got to pay attention to the arms. And once again, you only have to worry about Madison. You don't have to worry about Crystal, who's the blue-haired girl. He's going to switch the other way. So basically, you're just gonna just keep shooting them. This boss should be over pretty quick. I mean, actually, you know what? Let me just speed along. And then it's just this one. He should be done after this. As he's done. Hey, my eyes. Super electric violence. Alright, so, and she's done the bathing suit for some reason. Alright, this stage is kind of slow, but. I don't know what those symbols are supposed to be. It's only, it's only in this stage that they appear, and I don't know if it's just extra points. Oh. 
Come on, Crystal, let's go. There you go. God damn it. I don't know how you're supposed to block these assholes. Alright, so out of that shit. Wow, I'm getting f fucked up. See what I mean by slow moving? It's like, it's like enough already. Yeah, if I beat this game, I'm gonna have a score of like 999,000 or whatever it is. So once once this is over, the game picks up again. But it kind of sucks that the rest of the game is it's really fast moving. And then you get this, and it's like, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's come on, the bullshit. So it's one. It's two. two. I just gotta watch out because they duplicate, so you just have to watch out for where they're coming from. Just stay away from them. Come on. Yeah. And there's a little trick here. If you stay under him, oh, this hit me. There you go. Yeah, this is, it's a pretty wacky game. As you can tell from the bosses, the first game is even wackier. That's it, him. He's done. Mm -hmm. 
Ultimate A. So I'm already by the third level or whatever, I'm already... It's a little uh, Battle Mania. And underneath an idol. Alright, so that's enough of that. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be like a alien, uh, almost like a Contra stage. Oh, some enemies, I shoot this one to hell, and I can't kill him. You can blow off the tail sometimes, and that's what I can get. So I don't know if, if it's killable, if it's not killable. He's just gonna blow these things up. This will move. The game does have death traps where you will die instantly if it crushes you or something like that. At least the first game did. I'm trying to remember. I think this one does too. Oh yeah, it did. Well, it definitely has. There's one spot that's going to come up in a couple of minutes. Shit. Shit. Ooh. Oh, blow up. Die. There you go. Why some 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 of them don't die quick? Put more hearts. Yeah, the game is very generous with power ups. I think you stay on this side, you get extra healing shit. Oh, maybe it's this side. Stuff with this, this side. You see that one pushes you. I don't know why it does that for but whatever. You don't want to get the other, don't get the down power-ups. You see, you got the stages that are like horizontal and the vertical ones. It's a nice little change of pace. Shit, shit, shit. I just can't stop them. I just gotta dodge them. Shit, I could use that. This, do they, I don't think they hurt you. You need to let them. Yeah, they don't hurt. You just have to make sure you gotta survive this. Otherwise, it will kill you if you don't let those things blow. If you blow them up, and then and you don't go through that screen, you die instantly. So that's a little cheap thing in the game. But this is, I think this is pretty easy. Boss, let's see. the rest of the power-ups. This, this, this is the good enough. And this is the real boss, who's a robotic basketball player. I am not kidding. <laughs> this guy keeps shooting him. He's pretty easy. Oh shit. I you have to go over him this way and then just shoot him. I'm doing pretty good in this game. Come on. Fire already. Alright. 
And next comes probably my favorite stage in the game. It's Ultimate Day. Oh, that's the main bad guy. I'm supposed to be in a Haro kitten chance. Alright, so that's the main bad guy. There you go. It's almost like city connection with the cop cars. <laughs> And somehow our car is back again. You see, this this is the stage where you can shoot in like all the directions. I got others. Oh, it's like really, I don't know who the hell thought of this stage, but you got my size wheels. Come on, there. Once again, the music is really fun and fast-paced. That's probably the best part of the game. The graphics and the uh, the music are great. Mini boss. Oh yeah. And supposedly this is the reason why... You see those guys flying? It's supposed to be Mario. From Super Mario Bros. Supposedly. And that's the reason why it didn't, it, was, it didn't make it to the United States. Because I guess the copyright or whatever. Some bullshit. I don't think that's true, but... They could have easily just changed that sprite. Actually, I mean, actually, I'm There's two more bosses. There's one boss, and then the, the, you have to f actually fight the train. Gotta do dodge like the rosebud things. And that's it. Shit. I 
Mars not linked up. Dang. As there's the Michael Jackson. <laughs> like the weapon, no use. <laughs> that one because I think that one's the best one. I think I'm powered up already, but let me just grab everything. There's one thing about the stage you can't tell what you can bump into. What's in the background, what's in the foreground, what I think. I think it's a short stage out. Oh, I fucking die. Sometimes you can't tell what's killable, what's not killable. Die. Once again, you only have to worry about Madison or Manya, the blonde. So if they, tr I think this is the part they speed up the, with the one-hit kill thing. You only have to worry about her. You don't have to worry about any other person. So you can let, you can let uh, Crystal get hit. She won't take any damage. It's only the blonde you have to worry about. Let's get dodge that. Gotta be careful now. Just make sure. Whew. Just make sure you make it to the end. Who? That was quick. That was close.
Yeah, in this game, don't ever let go of the shooting button. Always be shooting. Oh, well, this guy may act like a weapon because he's, he's very annoying with this cannonball shit. Shit. He's probably the most dangerous. Everyone else, they're just there to sh take bullets. Finish this one, huh? Because he's the last one. Wait, let me activate him. Try to hit him as much as that. So, I think it's the end. Nope. That's Mega Man Cat. you which game you're playing and then he's from the first game he's kind of like, I guess your boss or he hires you whatever right. we can skip that it's not a big deal I think we'll I think this is one more stage after this and that's it Shit, shit, shit. Let's see what's really weird game. This boss reminds me of, remember, I don't know if, are they scared stupid? That's what this boss reminds me of. Or I guess a troll doll too. That'd be another one. I know that may actually, it's like at least a mayor though. These will actually blow you into the wall. don't even need it because I, I don't think I'm I can imagine dying now I got hit, I hit 29 times before before I die and I still got continues and this is the I think the second I found boss well there might be one more stage after this or two more stages
Oh yes, yeah. She steals the little TXY. Yeah, she does. Come Just basically just blast those lasers so they don't hit you. That's the dragon. Oh, she, she can't hurt the dragon, but you can only hit the body. Shit. This thing's fucking annoying. Hmm, maybe we can hurt the dragon. Oh, okay. And then you gotta shoot the head. I think. That was a that just happened. can't change weapons basically so you're stuck with whatever you got but once again I like the Yeah and it's time but I really don't know why because it's pretty much the game scrolls for you. I think there might be a boss at the end but even then it's not big no oh, fuck this. I guess might even be another nod to, to the, uh, the Koopas and Meyer brothers, but I don't even care about getting hit anymore. I, I'm pretty powered up. So this is another one you gotta be careful because you'll die, you'll die if uh, you don't blow those up. Come on. 
Hm, fight this asshole again. Hand it to me. <laughs> and you get saved by the lieutenant or whatever the hell his name is. did good. It's basically it's the end of the game. I can't, I can't skip it. <laughs> you owe me one for almost blowing you up. I'm not supposed to be sure if that's supposed to be a guy or a girl. I know oh, it's probably a guy, because I'm I'm thinking as <laughs> And we see its true form. Oh god. Oh um, I guess maybe it is a one more because of the, the sound effect. Oh it's let's do laser. It's a really trippy fight. Let's pretty much just work on one side. Almost reminds me of the, uh, the Echo the Dolphin boss at the end of the game. at the high score. Eat this. And that's the end of the game. to train. So that was Battle Mania 2. 
or Troubleshooter Vintage, if you can find a, a repro card of it. It's a pretty good game for the Genesis or Mega Drive. And if you can't find that one, you can get the Troubleshooter, the original one that's, uh, that's pretty cheap. You should be able to find that pretty easy. Let's skip this shit. <laughs> oh, can't skip it. <laughs> I think this is the same. And that's it. I don't think there's anything after this, so that's uh, thanks for watching, and that was uh, Battle Mania 2, or Troubleshooter Vintage, whatever. So uh, thanks for watching. I mean, at least I finally beat another game, because I had really bad trouble with uh, Grenada.